We are about 40 miles or so south of Candlestick Point at a place that first opened back in 2014. As you get a look at Levi Stadium here in Santa Clara, California. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here. As it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the San Francisco 49ers. And San Francisco gets set to go here. First play, and Purdy wants to throw it. And incomplete to open things up. We'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. Purdy now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well on field across the 45. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now Samuel. Powers through it. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Purdy looking to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. But when you're going up against a talented receiver like that, you just know that they're going to bring more people to him, right? They're going to double cover him every chance they get. I think that that is what we're going to see all game long. An early taste of that double, maybe even sometimes triple coverage we might see. Yeah, I think what they're counting on, his talent to sometimes beat that double coverage. Now Purdy got a man, that's out. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Purdy. That is caught. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. 
give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Second and five. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Now Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Here's Purdy. That is caught by the tight end, Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Niners put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll it. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Now the Packers get set to go. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Off the play fake, Love. Pass caught, it's Romeo Dobbs. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now it's third and four. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time, either equal or try to get us ahead and try to keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. There'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. 
They've got the 7-0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, it comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. He's in the space past the 25. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Purdy now on second down. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Quay Walker came through to make the sack. Yes, a real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. It's fourth down. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. This a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they move the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. to the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. 
And it's second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Love now. Here's a diving catch right side. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. He may go back to the home and have a little discussion with his passer. You know, maybe you don't have to leave me quite that much. <laughs> but on that play, bailed him out in a big way, didn't he? He did indeed. Hey, at least he gets to put it on the highlight reel. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Had no command that time, they ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Yeah, absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the counter, here's Jones. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now they'll work with four receivers here on third and six. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. They go play action here, Purdy. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he's out of bounds right around the 34. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. We'll get this into the hands of IU. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. Now second and three, as they've got it as we resume action. Purdy throw pulled in by Kittle. And Kittle going to have a 49ers first down as he'll get this up past the 45. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a solid run here as a pick is way down to the 42-yard line. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 38 now, here's a second down and six. 
They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Recovered by Green Bay. They got the fumble recovery. Now here's Love to pass. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Completed out left to Dobbs. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Love looking to throw it. This one swung out here to Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the seven-yard line. Second and two, first down marker at the five-yard line. Here's Love. That's a Packers touchdown. Luke Musgrave, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And bulldozing his way through. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And that will be incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Jaden Reed is deep for Green Bay. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Love going to break the huddle. Lead the Packers up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Uh, he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. And everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Throwing. Love. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Any time the ball is thrown in the middle of the field, it's popped up in the air. I expect someone to catch it, no matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. On play action, love to throw. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off, because in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. For drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Throwing on second down, it's Purdy. That's to McCaffrey, complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 35. And it goes a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. 
The offense on third down tonight, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 11. Back to throw, Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. perspective those are the plays they dream of correct on both counts <laughs> all right because once he took off i mean let's face it that should have been done in big sky country there aren't any speed limits out there and off he went glad i wasn't the one trying to chase it So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Another drive coming up for this Packers offense. They find themselves down 17 to seven as they start this drive first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. The heck of a move. Man. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. But quickly out wide, this is Watson. How oh, what a juke into space! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now love. A short throw to Musgrave. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. Love with a pass caught by Musgrave, the tight end. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now a second and two. To throw now. Here's Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Go. 
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Jones. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Love. Touchdown, Packers! Romeo Dobbs as the first half is winding down. And the Packers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. So the late touchdown there, and that certainly changes things as we move toward halftime. Yeah, and there's a potential for things to change even more because, remember, they get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they could potentially double up here and take the lead. A great opportunity for them. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Niners ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in the cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. On third down, Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Love. 
That's complete to Dobbs. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Play action this time with Love. Completes it again to Dobbs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Brings up second and two at the 43-yard line. From the 43, here's second and a couple. Love going to give this one to Jones. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Play fake. Here's Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The game of seven brings up second and three. Here's second and three. An inside give to Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. First down, love to pass. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. But Nick Bosa is so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Love now on second down. They have pressure coming, and they got him once again. Chase Young is second sack of the night. That's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask the defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting a sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. On third down, here's Jones. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I have to admit to a little surprise here. And then down in distance, I would have thought they were going to throw the football. Instead, they decide to run it. But give credit to the defense. They weren't fooled at all and held them to no game. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. A second down throw for Purdy. Got a man. That's Ayuk. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it brings up third and five now. It's a gain of six. Brings up third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Purdy from the gun on third down. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And into the end zone. It 
gets a pick six and a Packer touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow through. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. A good pick up there, 22. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done when the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy and it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down and it did right there play action now purdy this will be caught at samuel and he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. it's another first down and that'll be a gain of 21 yards now they, they completed a couple on this drive but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage too absolutely great start two nice plays in the pass game now can they continue to feed off that Here's Purdy on first and 10. Down man right side, it's McCaffrey. Yeah, he's going to get a second gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Brandon, I think you and I both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And it's caught. Touchdown. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. 
Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. The line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. Oh, good move. And this will be a Packers first down as he gets it up past the 35. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. But he certainly didn't like what he saw the coverage on his primary reads and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the middle, Jones. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a way to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. The Packers on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the Blade. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. Now is the Packers punter as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. This will be fielded at the 17. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Connects with Kittle underneath, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. But how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Here's Samuel. Well, he's free going down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They go play action here, Purdy. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A very solid gain of 27. These guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now here 
There's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. McCaffrey running up the middle. And they showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college. <laughs> and he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the night. And the 49ers are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Now Moody for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks. And now here's a tackle behind the line. Now a second down throw for Love here. That's taken in, Dontavian Ricks. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. On play action, love to throw, nowhere to go here, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, that could have been trouble. Offensively lucky there, able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And now the football's going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 55 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming? And he is 
is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. Rashawn Gary coming in for that outside linebacker spot, and he buries him for a loss of seven. Well, that's not how you hope to draw it up there on first and goal, CD, by taking a sack like that. Well, they tried to be aggressive, didn't they? They didn't want to try and work their way past the goal line. They wanted it right there on that play. Unfortunately, it backfired against. That'll be caught by Ayu. Touchdown for the Niners. Brandon Ayu, his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers ready to take over offensively. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And Love is going to slide down and pick up the first. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Love now to pass on first down. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make... And he's got it! It's caught for a Packers touchdown! Jaden Reed, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them at the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. Oh, I think the Packers got it. Yep, Green Bay football. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Jordan Love ready on first down here. A short throw to Musgrave. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. And quickly they get to the line. Second down. Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Working out of the gun. Love. To the sideline and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. They come up now on second and two. Love looking to throw it. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away here's first down love there goes a deep ball in zone that's going to be knocked away and incomplete and while it's probably going to take a miracle at this stage, if they come down with this one in the end zone, they've still got a fighting chance. That one, however, winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Love. Oh, no, he lost the football. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Now Love. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown, Packers. Jaden Reed, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now Carlson for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 90% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they take a knee. And anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. This was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player from the offensive side of the ball, 